In this lesson, we're going to take a clone of the Aurora database and see how it works. Here we have an Aurora cluster, and this is the writer, and this is the reader instance. I'm trying to take a clone here. Hit on the cluster identifier, and then hit the clone. You see it here? All right, let's see. So, right, like I said, hit on the cluster identifier, then hit the create clone. All right, let's give it a few seconds. It's spinning. Now, you can actually give a clone identifier. Like maybe I will give DB clone one. Then instance size, if you want, you can change the instance size here. I'm just gonna keep it the same. And then the connectivity. If you want to change something here, and you can do that. It allows you to modify some of these and just hit create clone once you're done. It's saying note that the clone operation could take several minutes sometimes. Now you can see that the cloning is running and it's saying creating. Creating the clone of the cluster and we have to just give it some time to finish, okay? As you can see, taking a clone is pretty simple. From the console, of course. You can just hit actions and then create clone. Just like that. Let's give it a couple of minutes and then check back to see if it is in the available state. Now let us refresh to make sure the clone is available or in the available state. This is the clone cluster and you can see that it is actually available now. It took like two to three minutes. It doesn't take much time, although the database is big. Even if the database is big, it doesn't take that much time. This is the clone cluster and it's available and it can be used for your testing. And once the testing is done, you can destroy your clone. Cloning is very, very useful and it's available in Aurora. Also, we can do the same in AWS CLI commands. And whatever we did here in the console, we can do the same thing with the help of CLI commands. See ya.